Welcome back everyone to another video and today we are playing U.S. President's Facts. It is a quiz, a 59 question quiz on the U.S. Presidents and I'm going to see how much I actually know about the Presidents because I bet that a lot of you guys, you've probably have been starting to figure it out because of uh, some of the videos I've been posting recently. But I do know quite a bit about presidents. Not trying to brag, but I definitely do. Ask anyone I know. So, we are going to jump right into this quiz called U.S. President's Facts. And I'll leave a link to this quiz in the description if you want to watch it. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications to this video as well. What nickname did James K. Polk earn because of his political uh, autonomy skills? Oh crap, I don't even know that one. Napoleon the Stump? What? James K. Polk, the 11th President of the United States, 1845-1849, had been fascinated by politics. Even as a young boy, he was encouraged by his associates with political, with leading political figures in his state. His style of ordinary, ordinary, ordinary secured his political career and became so popular he was characterized as Napoleon the Stump. Of the stump. All right. What was the reform program proposed by President Harry S. Truman in the in the the fair deal? Yeah, I know. Iran deal was I think Carter Square deal was FDR or sorry New Deal was FDR Square deal was Teddy Roosevelt. But I definitely didn't know that. That was a guess. Which act was signed by Roosevelt to provide national old care uh, uh, social security system? Yep. Social Security Act was a permanent national old age pension system through employers. So, yeah. Who was first friend to die in office? William Henry Harrison. Easy peasy. Which act signed by President Lincoln promoted the westward expansion? Ooh, I think it's the Homeson Act. Let's go. Five, uh, four, five. Which one of the U.S. presidents was also an actor? Oh, that's easy. Reagan. For the which organization is George W. Bush servant Central Intelligence Agency? God, these questions are quick. It takes long. Hard to serve him. Who's the first female cabinet member? Oh, I think. Was it Dole, maybe? Dang it. Oh. I would have said that was my second guess, but I'd be lying. Which one of these universities was founded by Thomas Jefferson? It was not any of these except the University of Virginia. Yep, he founded it in 1819. Which. Oh. Do I even need to. Read to the answers, yeah. In which year did President Franklin Pierce sign the Kansas Nebraska Act? Well, it's called the Kansas Nebraska Act of 1854. How many US presidents served more than two terms? Franklin D. Roosevelt was the only one. Who invented Hoover Ball? A medical ball game to treat President Herbert Hoover. Oh, I don't even know. That's just guess. Oh, uh, which president Oh, wait, what did President William Howard Taft do after his presidency? He was the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, the only one to serve in the Supreme Court after leaving office, actually. All right, this is going quick. Oh, wait, oh my god, which president was associated with Teddy Bears? The, the, Teddy Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. Which two countries did Jimmy Carter assist the Camp David Accords in 19? Ooh, I don't know. Israel and Egypt? Okay, that was a complete guess, but I think I knew it was Egypt, actually. I didn't know it was Israel. Whom did President Lyndon B. Johnson appoint as the first African American to the Supreme Court? Thurgood Marshall. Yep. Everybody knows that one. I don't even know who any of these other three people are. I think uh, Clarence Thomas might be on the Supreme Court now, though, actually. The, na the national of which were countries were. Oh, I don't even know. China. <laughs> <laughs> Chester A. Arthur signed the Chinese Exclusion Act. I didn't know that. I just couldn't read it out loud. Which U.S. president drafted the first ten amendments? Constitution? James Madison wrote the entire Bill of Rights and pretty much the entirety of the U.S. Constitution. Among the following enslaved persons were owned by President Thomas Jefferson. Sally Hemings. Which political party nominated Zachary Taylor for the 1848 presidential election? Whig. Libertarian Party didn't exist then. Free Soil Party 
uh, actually, it started in that election, but it, um, nominated Van Buren, and then, yeah, the Whig Party, or the Republican Party didn't exist then. Which covert operation was established during the Nixon presidency to prevent leaking classified documents? Ooh, I don't, I don't know. Plumbers? Never knew that. Which war ended colonial rule in the Americas during William McKinley's presidency? Spanish, uh, is it Spanish rule? I don't know about American rule. How long did the U.S. president's term last in office? In years? Four. Which of Barack Obama's books was published in 1995? Oh, I don't need, know any of his books. Maybe that one? Yeah. No. What, with what name did President Theodore Roosevelt rename the executive mansion? Well, I know he came up with the name the White House, so... And it's called that now. Alright, this is going pretty fast. We're already almost halfway through. What was Donald Trump's campaign slogan in the 2016 presidential election? Make America Great Again. I actually want to read this. In June 2015, Donald Trump announced that he would be a candidate in the U.S. presidential election of 2016, pledging to make America great again. He promised to create millions of new jobs, punish American companies that export jobs overseas, repeal Obama's signature legislation achievement, the Affordable Care Act, AAC, revive the U.S. coal industry. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much all he wants to do. Oh my... That was a complete accident. I... Okay, I would have said 1906 because I knew he won it while he was in office, and he was in office from 1901 to 1909, but that was a complete accident. Thank God that was the right answer. Which set of domestic programs was launched by President Lyndon Johnson in 1965? Great Society. Yep. Under whose presidency was the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 enforced? Fillmore, by far his biggest mistake. Harriet Lane acted as first lady during James Buchanan's presidency. How was she related to him? Think maybe niece, maybe? Yes. I was going to say daughter, but I remembered he had no kids. Alright. Who was the f- Who was named president after Abraham Lincoln was assassinated? Johnson. Under whose presidency did the Iran hostage crisis happen? Jimmy. Jimmy Carter. Uh, the name, oh, what was the name of the book for which President Kennedy won a Polar Sprite? I don't even know. Okay. I know he posted some books while he was a senator, but I didn't know the name of them. Which act did President Andrew Johnson saw Andrew Jackson sign in 1830? Indian Removal Act. God, we're actually going through this quiz pretty quickly. Uh, which U.S. president was dubbed his accidency by his opponent, John Tyler, because he was vice president under Harrison, and back then there was nothing saying what would happen if the president died, and John Tyler just kind of assumed the role. By which of these nicknames in the U.S. president Zachary Taylor is known? By which of these nicknames is the U.S. president Zachary Taylor known? Old Buck, maybe? Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I would have got it wrong anyways. Who, what, what was the name of the commission created to investigate John F. Kennedy's assassination? The Warren Commission, which, fun fact, um, uh, Gerald Ford, as a senator, he was part of it. All right, we're in the final 20 questions now. So let's do this. What government office was first held by Thomas Jefferson before being elected president of the United States? Well, he was vice president. Before that, he was secretary of state. How many presidents were born before the United States became a nation? Ooh, it was the first seven presidents and then the ninth, so that's eight. Yes, okay. 
eight presidents were born before the United States came. Yeah, so the first seven were, and then the eighth was Van Buren. He was born in the U.S., but then his successor, Harrison, was uh, born in, yeah, the, whatever you call it, U.S. Before crisis hit, uh, yeah. Which U.S. president famously used the campaign slogan, I like I. Eisenhower. Uh, which U.S. Uh, honor president. It's meant to honor all presidents, not just like in which U.S. president uh, served as chief justice of the Supreme Court. We already had this one. Just said what did Taft do after he left office, but pretty much the same thing. Which American president's kids earned the nickname Comeback Kid in 1992? Oh, uh, I mean, Bill Clinton was like the president in 92. I don't know why I was my Comeback Kid. In which war did Harry S. Truman fight as He fought- Oh, I thought it said World War II. Okay, that's my fault. I didn't read the question right. I just thought it was the war he served in. Which U.S. president enacted a law allowing female attorneys to practice in the Supreme Court? Rutherford B. Hayes? He seems like a nice guy. Rutherford B. Rutherford B. Hayes was the 19th president of the United States. But it gets me stressed when you only have the time limit. George W. Bush was governor, which day before becoming the president? Texas. The first American president to live in the White House was John Adams. Which international organization did Woodrow Wilson establish? The League of Nations in the United States never even joined it. What was William Jennings Ryan's famous speech that helped him win the presidential nomination in 1896? Ooh. Oh, cross the gold. Oh my god! No! I knew that. That was the easiest one. Oh my god, you're kidding me. You know what? I'm giving myself that that extra point. In which war did George H.W. Bush serve as a torpedo bomber pilot? World War II. Which American inventor helped doctors detect the bullet in President James A. Garfield's body? This guy. Graham Bell? He invented the phone. Which president signed the Louisiana Purchase? Thomas Jefferson. Which act was signed by President George W. Bush in response to the financial crisis of 2008? The American... The Emergency Economic Stabilization Act. I did not know that. Oh, by Bush. Dang it. I was thinking of Obama. Oh my god. Which president was associated with the Teapot Dome scandal? That was Warren G. Harding. What was President Walter Wilson's doctoral thesis? That was his first book. Oh god, I have no idea. This one? Alright, that was a complete guess. What was the name of the speech that Richard Nixon delivered on a nationally televised address? Oh, checker speech! No! Oh my god, I... He did that because he was a controversial pick for vice president. So he delivered a speech where he mentioned his dog, Checkers. Ah! These time limits, man. They keep... Hmm. Which act was passed by John Adams to establish his first circuit judge leadership in the U.S.? Well, he was president in 18... He was, That was the only year he was actually president during... He was during, so... I mean, it's gotta be that one. Yeah, look at John. John Adams' administration, 1797-1801. Alright, we got a 40... Oh, God, that's terrible. We got a 47 out of 59. I'm gonna give myself that extra point and say I got a 48 out of 59. That's an 81.4%. Mm, I think I could have done better. But, yeah. You know what? We'll take it. Let's... I'll take it. Oh, 19,810 points. So, yeah. There you go, guys. Let me know if there's any other quizzes you want me to do in the comment section down below. This is a little bit 
this was a little bit of a different video, but I'm trying some new stuff right now. I actually have another gaming video that I'm planning on making for you guys in just a couple days. So I'll see you then and tomorrow too. Peace.